7 or 0, 1, 2. Those things are complements. Instead of going for this one directly in your calculator, you got to take 1 minus the complement. This would be our complement here. So let's look for at most 2. Subtract that from our 1. We'll go to our distribution button. We'll go down to the cumulative again. We'll plug in the 7. We'll plug in the 0.2. We'll plug in, what's the next number we're going to plug in? Two. 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 Now, when you're plugging in the two, remember what this is giving you right here when you do the, the two? That's giving you zero or one or two. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. It's not giving what you want, it's giving you the complement of what you want. We'll press enter. That's giving us point eight five one point eight five two zero. <clears throat> Well, just doing the math in my head, are these things equal? <coughs> take your calculator if you don't believe me. Take 1 minus 0 0.8520. Zero. Is it the same? Yes. Yeah. Exactly the same on that one. It's kind of cool. Hey, not your hands are with me on that one. Is that okay with you? All right. Let's try one more. It's kind of over here in the dark. Change my sides. Change my sides here. We want the probability of at least five parts. At least five parts means what? What does at least five mean to you? At most four. Okay. The complement would be at most four, but what's at least five mean? Does it include the five or not? Yes. Five, six, seven. What's the opposite or complement of five, six, seven? Zero to four. Zero to four. So we want at most, the opposite or the complement of at least five parts is at most four parts. So if I want at least five parts, I'm going to take one minus the probability of at most four parts. Those are complementary events. We know they have to add up to one. So if I say probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, subtract that probability from my 1, I get the probability of 5, 6, or 7. Raise your hand if you're okay. Still with the good. All right. Let's go ahead and do that probability. We'll go back to our distribution, go down to our cumulative, just like we've been doing. We'll still put in our 7, our 0 0.20, and we're going to go for now. What number are we going to plug in after that? Say eleven. Yeah, we'll do our four. We want up to and including four. Point nine nine five three. Oops. Point nine nine five three. Can you tell me what is 1 minus 0 0.9953, please? Well, what was that, Mumbling? <laughs> hey, why, why aren't these the same? Why isn't it that when you round this one, it doesn't exactly equal this one like all the other ones? Why isn't that? Were these actually zeros? No. So if you were to add those up, you know what? They're probably going to be pretty close to 0.0007. It's probably going to be pretty close to that. That's why these things aren't exact, because the table is approximating. It's not going to more than three decimal places your calculator is. Would you raise your hand if this example made sense to you? Good. All right. That's fantastic.